hello friends in this video we have to understand about a concept of the response of series rc circuit when you connect with a dc source so exactly what will happen when you connect any vdc across this rc then gradually voltage across capacitor will increase so in short you will find the responses capacitor voltage let's say this is small say for example so we see over a time you will find that this gradually increase so it will gradually increase then it will reach to the source voltage which is vdc okay so this will be the response now we have to find out that which are the mathematical equation that governs the transient response of this voltage vc so here let's say current through this uh, loop is i and so this i will flow from here so here we will have positive on the other terminal negative similarly positive and negative for vc now if i just work out here if i have like kvl in this loop so uh, if i start from this so here it is negative then it reach positive so my net potential increases so vdc then if i reach here so the voltage is positive then it becomes negative so net voltage goes down so that's why it becomes negative so negative vr and then negative vc so is equal to zero now it is vr so vr is the voltage across resistor so this is nothing but ir minus vc is equal to zero so uh, let me take this two term on the uh, right side so this vdc is ir plus vc now it is i so i which is current passing through this capacitor so in case of capacitor we can write like charge across capacitor is nothing but q equal to cv where c is the capacitance of the uh, capacitor and v, v is the voltage across the capacitor which is vc when i differentiate this so this will gives me dq by dt which is nothing but dvc by dt thus i can be replaced with c dv by dt right so this let's say this is my equation number one and this is equation number two so if i substitute this equation two in equation one so what i will have is vdc is equal to c dvc by dt into r plus vc so vdc let's say if i take this term on the other side vdc minus vc equal to rc dvc by dt so if i rearrange this equation so this will be like dvc vdc and vc if i take in through denominator then here it is like 1 upon rc into dt so this if i take on the other side this will be comes in denominator and dt will comes in the numerator so if i take integration on both side so this of you know, vdc minus v, vc is give, will gives me and if i take this rc on the other side so let me multiply on both side with rc so this rc and rc will be cancelled out and this will be there so rc and then the integration of this so 1 upon vdc into dvc this will gives me vdc minus vc in denominator minus 1 and here what we uh, left with is only dt so integration of dt is nothing but t plus k so when t is equal to 0 so this will gives me k is equal to v, well, t equal to 0 so minus rc when t equal to 0 what is vc voltage across capacitor is 0 right so considering this k equal to minus rc then ln vdc because vc equal to 0 now if i substitute this in this equation so this will gives me minus rc ln vdc minus vc 
is equal to t then this is minus rc right so minus rc ln vdc if i take this term on the left side so this will gives me minus rc ln vdc minus vc plus rc ln vdc is equal to t if i take negative common this will gives me minus rc ln vdc minus vc minus rc ln vdc is equal to t so if i multiply the minus with minus t on both side what i will have is rc ln vdc minus vc minus ln and if i take rc common so ln vdc is equal to minus t so uh, let me take this rc into denominator here so if i divide with rc on both side so here i will have one and here i ha i will have minus t upon rc further here we have subtraction so ln vdc minus vc minus ln vdc so this will results into vdc minus vc divided by vdc equal to minus t upon rc so uh, when i remove this ln so what we will have is vdc equal to so vdc minus vc divided by vdc is nothing but minus t upon rc so it will gives in the power e raised to minus t upon rc so what we had is upon vdc if you just go there if you go back so vdc minus vc upon vdc equal to e raised to minus tc t upon rc so this will gives me vdc minus vc equal to vdc e raised to minus t upon rc so if i take this on the other side so vdc minus vdc e raised to minus t upon rc will gives me vc so what is my vc vdc 1 minus e raised to t upon rc so this is the equations for capacitor voltage when you connect across a constant source so if we plot the waveform for the same so my capacitor voltage over time so when t equal to 0 if i substitute t equal to 0 here so vc equal to what so vc equal to vdc 1 minus e raised to 0 so vdc e raised to 0 is nothing but 1 so vdc 1 minus 1 is nothing but zero so my initial capacitor voltage is zero now what will happen when t equal to infinite so when i substitute here so this is vdc 1 minus e raised to infinite will gives me vdc 1 minus zero it is nothing but vdc it means that after some time after infinite time my capacitor voltage will settle to vdc so in between we have this transient this response and what how long it will take so it's not vdc vc equal to vdc 1 minus e raised to t by tau so it, it takes tau seconds to reach this 63.2 percent of vdc so this is my steady state value vdc so, so it will take tau seconds to reach so this is nothing but time constant of a system